I'm going to read from, um, I believe it's Matthew 25, this is the Knox Bible. When that day comes, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who went to the bridegroom and his bride, taking their lamps with them. Five of these were foolish and five were wise. The five foolish, when they took their lamps, did not provide themselves with oil. But those who were wise took oil in the vessels they carried, as well as the lamps. The bridegroom was long in coming, so that they all grew drowsy and fell asleep. And at midnight the cry was raised, Behold, the bridegroom is on his way, go out to meet him. Thereupon all these virgins awoke and fell to trimming their lamps, and now the foolish ones said to the wise, Share your oil with us, our lamps are burning low. But the wise ones answered, How? If there is not enough for us and for you, better that you should find your way to the merchants and buy for yourselves. And so, while they were away buying it, the bridegroom came. Those who stood ready escorted him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterwards, those other virgins came with the cry, Lord, Lord, open to us. And he answered, Believe me, I do not recognize you. I find these, um, these teaching stories, not only from Jesus, but from others, a very, um, a very effective and very useful for you to really, um, try and understand something at deeper and deeper levels. They are like a, a bone for you to chew on and there is much there. There are things that are obvious, things that are not obvious, things that you only realize on the tenth time of reading them. There are things that are more straightforward and things that are more metaphorical. Um, and work you must because Real development is um, dependent on your work. Nobody can really um, put intelligence inside of you unless you struggle for it. Our bodies in this world and this uh, collective society provides a kind of holding pattern for you. But if you wish to climb, uh, you must climb and it there is no way to cheat. There is no way to cheat. How can you cheat becoming intelligent? Um, the society has all sorts of ways um, of pretending. Pretending people are becoming intelligent, but they are not. You really have to understand that it's all down to you. And... Um, and there, there is no way, I mean, it's, it's quite a comfort to settle back into the reality that I must work in order for me to grow. There is no other way. There is no gist to catch. But the spiritual teaching does help you go faster and not make mistakes. It's true, it does. Um, But it doesn't, it doesn't make you intelligent unless you have earned it. Um, so, um, looking at this story, the wise ones answered, how, if there is not enough for us and for you? You have to go back to the merchants and buy for yourselves. You cannot share with everybody. You cannot. Those people dream of a utopia and that... Uh, you know what they say, they say about Buddha? That he wrote in Pali so that everybody could understand it and not in Sanskrit 
which was the language of the um, religious caste. People constantly try to see in religious figures this idea that everybody can have it, and everybody can have it. This is a wrong idea because, especially on this world, you need structures and institutions just like you need the walls of a house. If there are no walls, then there is nothing. There is no fire in the house. It will just be blown away by the elements, by the birds of the air. You need structure. And today, in our chaotic world, it's very hard to see structure. It's very hard to see what's inside of people. Uh, it is very difficult because we must still follow the word, the law, the code in order to find the truth. Even if the whole world is not following it, it is, it is painful to do that, but it is, it is true. Um, that makes it difficult because we are doing things in a very different way from the other people on this world. Um, yes, so we cannot share widely. How, if there is not enough for us and for you? Um, if you share with ev everyone, it's a disaster. Uh, the correct structure is like the structure on a ship where you have a captain, a first mate, a second mate, quartermaster, sailmaker, and the many hands. Most people are hands. They are in the lowest category. But if the structure is there, the ship will sail over the ocean and it will carry everybody with it. And you must serve that ship. You are born on a ship. You must serve it. If not, you are the enemy of the ship. And underneath, in the hold, it is the nature of people who are low, who are full of impurity and who do not understand. It is the nature of them to be scheming and criminals. And they must be disciplined for the good of everybody. That is why capital punishment probably should still exist because that is the level of people. <laughs> if you could only see inside the people that you meet, the people you walk past, if you could see inside them, you would realize that inside of us is fragmented, dissonant, criminal, dark elements. And all the well-wishing in the world is not going to change that. There is work to be done, work to be done work not just for yourself but for everyone and it's compassion to see this there is, there is no compassion by setting all the criminals free there will only be disaster huh. um, Afterwards, those other virgins came with a cry, Lord, Lord, open to us. And he answered, Believe me, I do not recognize you. I do not recognize you. I suppose this means that you become very different through your work. And the help from above can only recognize those who have worked. It can only touch them because they start, um, they are coherent enough to receive the message uh, and then you can surrender you can surrender to God as Prabhupada says the greatest instruction is give up everything and surrender utterly to God but can you do that somebody who's a big mess inside cannot surrender to God because there is no I there and they don't they cannot feel God um, in the story of Ramana Maharshi, he tried to surrender utterly to God and it took him, I think, 14 years um, of suffering. 14 years living in a, in a hole covered in rats, half starving. 
Um, so we see that we have to work on many different levels simultaneously. If you'd like to listen to the rest of this recording and others, I've put them on Odyssey where there's no time limit. So please have a look on there. I've put the link down below. Take care.